today I'm gonna start building the walls in our bus. I've never built a wall before, but I've watched lots of videos, so I think I've got a good idea of what I'm doing. We have four walls, basically, that we're putting up. We're building a closet here next to our bed, so that will have two side walls, and then we need to frame out our shower. So those are the major things that I need to build. Here we go. I'm going to start with our closet because it's much less intimidating than the shower. So the idea is to build walls to cover up this window and go all the way to the ceiling to build us a nice little closet. All right, so this wasn't too bad. I've got two bottom plates, bottom framing pieces um, that run along the bottom of the closet. And then these two upright vertical pieces I'm using two by fours just because that's what we have on hand. I think you could also use two by threes if you wanna save a little bit of space. Um, we are also using two by fours specifically because we're going to be putting outlets in these walls and our outlet box depth um, is the depth of the two by four. So that allows the outlet box to kind of sit into and attach to this two by four. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to attach these two bottom pieces into the wheel well, and then I'm going to do my best to attach these vertical pieces. And then my plan is to do two more vertical pieces kind of in the middle, and then I'll do cross pieces to support them. So it's hard to explain, you'll see. So I drilled these two pocket holes to go into this bottom plate of our closet wall. And then I also drilled a pocket hole at the top of this two by four to go into our ceiling framing. Um, because obviously once I attach this bottom piece, I'm not going to be able to create that pocket hole up there. So thinking ahead, <laughs> hopefully I remember to do that for the rest of this. Okay, I'm frustrated. I'm gonna take a break because I just don't have enough hands to do this by myself and wait until Gavin's done work so he can come out here and help me. It's been an adjustment uh, trying to work on my own without Gavin here to help me. It's not that I can't do these things on my own, it's just that I miss having his opinion when it comes to building. Neither of us have done this before, so it's nice to bounce ideas off one another when we're doing it, and then, you know, it's nice to know that he agrees with what I'm doing before I do it permanently. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a break, wait for Gavin, and then we'll come back out here with better attitudes, and I'm sure it'll be really easy. Okay, Gavin's done with work and he is here to help me as an extra pair of hands. So I'm gonna start by putting in these brace pieces that I cut to go in between. Perfect, my two vertical. So that will just make sure, hopefully I'm thinking that that will help these two vertical pieces be square to each other. Perfect. As usual, we're working into the dark, so sorry about the lighting, but first one, done. It's solid. Good morning, guys. We decided to call it a night after finishing the first wall of the closet last night, so let me show you what we got done. So, you can see we finished screwing in these two vertical posts, and then we added these four horizontal braces um, just to help support and keep everything square and attached to the side of the bus. We then added these two pieces that we could pilot hole drill into the ceiling and then secure the vertical post to that. So there's a screw going into this piece which is attached to the ceiling and then same here. And our wall is very sturdy. Again, we did the two by fours this way because we're planning to put an outlet box right here that will be in our kitchen wall. And then also on this side, We'll have an outlet box facing the bedroom. So today I'm going to start working on this second wall. It should be a lot easier now that I have, you know, a template to go off of. So 
Gavin just got off work. He's gonna come out, check my measurements, and hopefully it's fine. The entire wall is a little bit crooked. The entire bus is a little bit crooked. So we're not too overly concerned with it being square, every angle being square. We know that our cuts later on when we're putting up walls and stuff are gonna be weird anyways, but I'm trying as best I can. And it's a little bit annoying when it just doesn't work out like it should mathematically in your head, you know? Whatever. <laughs> it's going pretty well, we're almost done. We just need to add the two more horizontal braces and then both these walls are done. But I'm gonna take a break from walls for the moment because we got an exciting delivery. Let's go. The biggest box is here. I hope this is our biggest box. Can you just rip it? Huh? Our water tank's here. Our water tank is in the bus. It's huge. Um, we had to take our bed apart to get it in. And we're gonna leave our bed apart until we plumb everything so that it's easier to work around this. But yeah, pretty exciting. We'll do a whole video on our plumbing in a couple weeks. So let's get back to doing walls. All right, that's our closet all framed. It went pretty well. It's definitely super sturdy. It fits a nice Gavin sized amount of things in it. Always good to have a hiding spot. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be full of other things like clothes or food or something, mm -hmm. something useful. Yeah, but very excited and proud of how our first walls turned out and it'll be a good foundation and start to doing a lot of cool stuff in this bus so yeah and we have started framing our shower but you guys are gonna have to wait till next week to see that because it is not done yet so tune Stay in okay <laughs> right. bye love you love you